This island is a tourist mecca with beautiful sandy beaches and a history dating back to Columbus, coupled with a very definite Spanish influence. For years, Puerto Rico has turned out a long line of great champion fighters, and tonight is no exception as Don King Productions, in association with the Showtime Network in the United States, present a show called Duel in the Sunset. is the IBF Welterweight Championship of the World. Felix Tito Trinidad, undefeated, 32-0. From right here in Puerto Rico, he hails from Coupe Alto. 28 knockouts to his record, and he's taking on the top contender available from Kinshasa Zaire, a guy by the name of Mahenge Zulu, who has upset on his mind for tonight. Our co-feature is the mandatory WBA Super Middleweight Championship of the World. That's the 168-pound division, and that features Frankie Lyles, who you've seen here on King Vision many, many times. He's the WBA champion, handling from Las Vegas to Valdivia, Los Angeles, California, 31 and 1, 20 KOs, taking on a Russian, the number one contender by the name of Andrei Shkalikov, and this should be an exciting fight. It's been an exciting week here in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and we're going to have the action underway for you moment early. Mm, you're so lucky. Not one gray hair. When a woman can run her fingers through your hair and can't tell you blend away your gray. Or did this country turn its back on him? Lennox Lewis, Monday on Off the Record, 6 Eastern, that's 3 Pacific. Hot Wheels and Nazareth. See it. Live it. TSN. Hello again, everybody. I'm Bob Sheridan, and welcome to Bayamon, Puerto Rico. Working with me for this big night, uh, a fellow that's been with me a few times, many, many years ago, and a former welterweight champion of the world, Carlos Palomino. Carlos, welcome to King Vision. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here with you again after all these years. I'm excited about this. Two great fights tonight. It's exciting. Well, I'll tell you, you're going to see one of the great young fighters in boxing today, and Felix Tito Trinidad in action. Carlos and I just did a fight for the U.S. satellite broadcasting system, so it's kind of like a Chinese fire drill getting things started here, but we saw two terrific fights. We'll talk about them uh, in a little while, but uh, one thing is for sure, Trinidad will light up this crowd when we see him in action. We get to see Frankie Lyles, too. Absolutely. Trinidad is the man here within his hometown. He's defending his title for the 13th time. Absolutely. It's a great crowd. We're all waiting and anticipating this fight. I think it's going to be a great night. Frankie Lyles, a great technician. It's going to be a good night of boxing. Tell me this, fellas. They tell me that you're a trainee. You look in great shape. Are you going to fight at your age? Well, you know, I had four fights last year. One of all by knockout. I'm waiting right now on the possibility of a fight with Rafael Rivera, who was Oscar and Oyo's last opponent. If it can work out, I'm excited about it. I'm going to take it. Hey, and now that we've got him working with us, you might get to see him fighting right here. So coming up, Felix Tito Trinidad and a big fight against Mahenge Zulu, a guy from Africa, done all his fighting in Italy. What kind of a chance does this guy have coming in here against Felix Trinidad in his backyard? Well, we don't know too much about him, but uh, I know that he's ready. He looks in terrific shape at the weigh -in. I think he's here trying to win a world title. I don't think he came over here and laid down for anybody. All right, I understand that they're going to do an interview with uh, Tito Trinidad. Uh, I understand that Jim Gray from the United States Network Showtime is going to do that. I think he's with them, so without further ado, let's go to that interview. Jim Gray and Tito Trinidad. Hace cinco años que no peleas aquí en Puerto Rico. ¿Cómo te sientes peleando aquí? Bueno, me siento muy contento y esto es lo que yo quería, pelear en Puerto Rico. Mi casa, mi gente. He's very happy. This is what he wanted. He wanted to fight home, Puerto Rico. It has been a long layoff for you, 219 days. A long time for a champion. Are you concerned at all about being rusty? Ha sido 219 días que no peleas. ¿Cómo te sientes si te ha hecho algún daño el cuerpo o no peleas por tanto tiempo? No, 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 no va a ser daño y se lo voy a mostrar ahorita que yo soy el mejor. No, 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 no me ha hecho daño. No, I feel great. It hasn't done me any harm, and you'll see it later. In English, any problems? No problems tonight? No problem tonight. Okay, good luck to you, Felix. All right, Bob 
showed in back here at ringside with Carlos Palomino. Well, now, Carlos, uh, we've got a chance to tell the people that uh, are joining us, uh, watching on King Vision around the world, we had the opportunity to see a couple of pretty good fights. Uh, tell them about uh, Fred Norwood, the new uh, reigning WBA featherweight champ. That was an outstanding fight by Norwood. He came out here. He was well prepared. He came out with a lot of pressure on, on uh, Sir Daniel. Sir Daniel was never able to, uh, to figure out the soft ball stands and do anything with it. And... Uh, Norwood just walked away with a fight with a 12 on the position. position. Manuel, a guy we've seen a few times here in Kingbridge, who just didn't have it tonight at all. Freddie Norwood, uh, we wanted to ask him a few questions about it. We didn't have the opportunity because we wanted to get these fights on for you. And also, a little bit earlier, the WBO Bantamweight Championship fight, Jorge Alicia uh, Julio from uh, uh, Magdalena and uh, Baron Kia in Colombia did a nice job defeating uh, Daniel Cobra. Him and this is Larry Holmes, one of the great champions of all time. I've got Larry Rank as one of the top five fighters of all time. A lot of people don't recognize him like I do, but I'll tell you one thing, you can't debate one thing. This guy had a tremendous heart and was a great champ. He was absolutely a great champion, tremendous heart. He was in some wars a couple of times defending his heavyweight title, and he deserves uh, all the attention he should get, and he is, in my estimation, also one of the top five heavyweights in the world in every fight. All right, so we're just about set to uh, uh, have a real exciting uh, fight to get underway here, and... Uh, it's uh, going to be Felix uh, Tino Trinidad and uh, and uh, Mahenge Zulo in the main event. And the big fight that uh, will be before that is you take a look at Andre Shkalikov. His record is 29-3. One draw, 13 knockouts. Coming to us from Russia. He trains in France. He trains out in St. Martin. And he's taking on this guy, Frankie Lyles. This is Frankie's eighth world title fight. Frankie's a southpaw. He's a boxer puncher. He's always considered himself a real good ring strategist. And he told me that he wants to move up in the light heavyweight division and go for another title shot uh, against Roy Jones Jr. Uh, his strengths over his career have been kind of an awkward style in defense. Uh, and the knock on him would probably be his boring style and aggressiveness. But we'll see what how that goes. We take a look at Christopher Columbus and the beautiful area of uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico. All kinds of monuments and shops. And, well, I've really been impressed with uh, visiting San Juan. And I know you've enjoyed it this week, too, Carlos. I, I had a good time here. I, I didn't have good memories of it. I, I lost my collar here back in 1979. But uh, being here, getting ready to do the show, uh, people were great. Uh, we just had a really good time. I, uh, on the hotel and uh, just uh, looking at the scenery. It's, well, it's the a people, beautiful place. The people from the tourist board really showed us around and uh, gave us the opportunity to experience uh, uh, San Juan and uh, not only San Juan but traveling around Puerto Rico. It's, uh, it's been a great show. But we're here for business of a boxing nature and we'll take a look at the table to tape here. And you see a few things as you look at this. First off, Frankie Lyles has a tremendous height advantage. Seven and a half inches, six to a half, five, seven. The weight uh, insignificant, the same. Uh, now, Frankie Lyles is uh, a little bit older, but still in great shape. Never been hurt in his career. Big advantage in reach, 77 to 69 for Frankie Lyles. Quickly on the rule. five rules, 10 point one scoring system, no standing in count, no three knockdown rule. Only referee can stop the fight, and fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. All right, here's Jimmy Lennon. Gentlemen, damas y caballeros, good evening and welcome. Bienvenidos aficionados al box, al Coliseo de Rubén Rodríguez en Bayamón, Puerto Rico. Tenemos una gran noche de boxeo por Duncan Productions, Showtime y simplemente Budweiser. Bien amigos, este es el campeonato peso supermedio de la Asociación Mundial de Boxeo. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we present the WBA Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Sanctioned by the World Boxing Association, Presidente Gilberto Mendoza, Supervisor Rodolfo Fortich, junto con la Comisión de Boxeo de Puerto Rico, la Presidente Domis Delgado. Ahora presentando a los jueces. Introducing to you our judges, scoring this bout from ringside, Jose Overson, Cesar Ramos, and Gonzalo Rivera, and the referee in charge, aquí está el referee, Waldemar Schmidt. Alright fans, here we go with the WBA Super Middleweight Championship of the World, scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Presentando al retador en 
la esquina azul por calzoncillo blanco. Introducing first the challenger in the blue corner on my right, wearing white trunks and hailing from Chelyabinsk, Russia. Pesando 168 libras y weighed in the super middleweight limit, 168 pounds. His record stands at 29 wins, 3 losses and 1 draw with 13 wins coming by way of knockout. He is ranked the WBA number one super middleweight contender. Vemos la bienvenida al retador, clasificado número uno, peso super medio. Introducing the challenger, Andre Shkalikov. champion on my left fighting out of the red corner wearing white trunks with blue trim fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Tiene un peso de 168 libras. He weighed the same as his opponent, 168 pounds. His record is a fine one with 31 wins, one loss, one no contest with 19 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight he has taken the seventh defense of his title. Here is the WBA Super Middleweight Champion of the World. Aquí está el campeón del mundo peso super medio. Introducing Fabulous. Frankie Lyle. Once again, the referee in charge, our referee is Waldemar Schmidt. All right, Bob Chardonnay with Carlos Palomino. We're in Bayamon, Puerto Rico for Frankie Lyles and Andre Skelikov, the super middleweight championship of the world. These fighters have no common opponents. It's the first world title fight for Shkalikov. I asked him yesterday, he said, are you nervous about uh, fighting in a world title fight? He said, no, he said, I've trained my whole life for this. I'm really excited about it. He said, I'm not nervous. And Frankie, it's another day at the office. But Shkalikov, we don't know an awful lot about him. We haven't seen him fight before, to be honest with you. But uh, it's, a, it's a long line of pretty good uh, Russian fighters like uh, Zubek Nazarov. These guys are handled by the Akeris brothers over in France. They're pretty good fighters, I can tell you that. Well, they had a great amateur program for many, many, many years. They dominated the Olympics, and I think that uh, you just get used to the pro style in the United States and train for uh, a few more rounds, and uh, they, they should be able to do well. And, uh, I've seen a couple of Fox of Sioux and other Russians that I, uh, I was very impressed with. All right, Frankie Lyles to the right of your screen. The taller of the two is Lyles. Lyles is the champion. Skeletov, the Russian with a shaved head. They both get shaved heads. They both wear legs. So the taller of the two is Frankie Lyles, the reigning champ. Now, if there's any knock on Frankie, he's also the softball jabbing with the right hand. It's his slow, aggressive, uh, lack of aggressiveness in opening rounds. But he's a real ring tactician. He knows exactly what he's doing in there. Absolutely. He, he uh, has a fight plan, and he always carries it out exactly the way he planned it. He, he will not allow the fans or the other fighters to try to throw him off his fight plan. And that's, uh, uh, that's a key for him. That's a mark of a, of a guy who's focused, and he's got discipline to, uh, to what he knows he can do. Well, uh, Skelikov is going to try to feel him out a little bit in the first round, and the Puerto Rican uh, boxing fans are going to sit back and, and tolerate that. They want action, and part of the reason for that is we've had two fights here that we did on the U.S. satellite broadcasting system here uh, a little bit earlier tonight, and they were wild affairs, and the people loved it. And this fight uh, thus far is not exactly the one you would call a crowd pleaser. In 1997, Lyles fought a couple of times and defeated Segundo Mercado to retain the WBA Super Middleweight title with a fifth round TKO in April. And then in July, he had a tough time against Zapru Balagu in Nashville, uh, going to full 12 rounds to defeat him. Also, only fought a couple of times in 95 and three times in 94, and only once in 93. He'd like to get busier, and he should if he's going to move up to the light heavyweight division. He needs two or three fights and then go for a title there. But right now, the man in front of him is Skelikov. Typical European type of guy. When I say that, I don't mean it disrespectfully, but Carlos, he stands straight up, he holds the hands high, starts to get a little bit busier now. And, and what Frankie doesn't want to do is lull this guy to sleep, uh, uh, because if Skelikov realizes he can walk through jabs and walk through punches, 
he's going to get himself a really an adrenaline rush and, and put some pressure on Frank. Well, I think that, that you're right about that, bro, because uh, he's yeah. got a Frank Elias is going to have to make him respect him and make him feel like he doesn't belong in the same ring with him at this point. Frank uh, does have a good jab, though, Carlos, uh, and he's able to hold him off when he uses it. And he, unlike uh, some of the fighters we saw earlier tonight, steps up into his jab and, and is able to hold the guy up a little bit different. There's a big, big reach advantage. Eight inches allows him. He'll want to use that if he's going to be effective tonight. Oh, you're right. And one of the great things about Frank Lyles is that, is that left hand, that jab. He's very well, and then he sets up his combination. Let's go. Behind that left, that, that, that great jab. Closing seconds now. This is the first round. And a typical Frank Lyles first round. Hey, guys. Over here. Yeah. Um, at what point in the day are you absolutely starving? After school. Ooh, and uh, how do you handle this hunger? McCain. <laughs> Your pepperoni pizza pockets. Hmm. Why McCain? <laughs> because they give us more pepperoni. Oh, I see. And more pepperoni is important to you? <laughs> Duh. Pick up McCain pepperoni pizza pockets and get more pepperoni. Cool. When I decided to train for this, I heard it all. Jehu, you fool, this is a desert. Jehu, it's 110 degrees. Crazy things. I practice around five, six hours a day with the rumble pack. On the slopes, in the half pipe, Jehu is there. It's very spiritual. Just you and the mountain. And the snowboard. And the game. 1080 snowboarding only on Nintendo 64. Real close to the real thing. I warn you, snowboarders, watch out for Jehu. Close enough, we'll tie him up anyway. And, uh, and he's in a rush in his 
game, and he's, uh, he's here to fight. He's here to try to win a world title. I was reading a little bit about his bio, and he said it would be a great honor uh, to, to be able to win a world title and take it back to Russia and show the kids there that, uh, that anything is possible when you work at it. Another interesting fact, Kenny Adams, who works in Frankie Lau's corner, actually worked with Skelikov in a fight uh, in South Africa a year or so ago. So he knows what there is to know about Skelikov and thinks that Frankie, fighting Skelikov, the Skelikov is a tailor-made opponent, shorter, can't get to him, stand-up European-type fighter, and Frankie should just pick him apart. Frankie hasn't done that yet. Well, he won the first round, and he's out boxing him here in the second round, and Skelikov hasn't done anything. Frankie has that, you know, the, 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 that kind of a style. He, he's a slow starter. He takes him up. He's going to get on line to get the warmed up. Uh, and and uh, so it, it, it takes a little while. And, and he's starting to, to get the range uh, of this guy. No, 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 stop. Oh. Frankie's only lost. He slips there on his uh, career. It was against Tim Little way back in 1992. But... When he came back and fought Stevie Little again, Argentina and won the WBA Super Middleweight title. He certainly proved that uh, what he's doing is good too. They take the title away. Oh, yeah, he cut. Oh, he did get cut. They cut the top of the head. Frankie Wilde. Well, he's basically literally slipping him off the hook. And that, 
that could be dangerous now against Frankie Wilde. You don't have to hope he'll come back and knock you out. Frankie was so smart that he grabbed and dragged him down. Yeah. He damaged because he was hurt. Frankie's not crisp with that right hand anymore. And his left hand looked almost lazy when he got off. Back the kid off again. When I decided to train for this, I heard it all. Jehu, you fool, this is a desert. Jehu, it's 110 degrees. Crazy things. I practice around five, six hours a day with the rumble pack. On the slopes, in the half pipe, Jehu is there. It's very spiritual. Just you and the mountain. And the snowboard. And the game. 1080 snowboarding only on Nintendo 64. Real close to the real thing. I warn you, snowboarders, watch out for Jehu.
guy being held, and he's just throwing punches, trying to make a fight of this. Post. 
It's guaranteed, reliable, and can normally save you about 33% on the cost of courier service. Plus, it goes to more Canadian cities the next business day than ever before. Express Post, the smart alternative from Canada Post. The government will try to hide it. Turn your camera off. The military will try to destroy it. Prepare to synchronize the nukes. But on May 8th, we're T minus three minutes in counting. The whole world will feel the comet's impact. From executive producer Steven Spielberg. You're gonna die if you stay here. If you love me, you go. And director Mimi Leader. Life will go on. Deep impact. We will prevail. Starts Friday, May 8th, everywhere. You remember Jay. He still doesn't say very much. Especially when he's enjoying his McCain super fries. And he doesn't seem to care that they've only got 5% fat because they still taste great. McCain super fries. Deep fried flavor and crispness with only 5% fat. For the strong, silent type. It made me bitter that I couldn't read. I thought that people wouldn't like me or understand. The only way to get rid of it is to go back to school. I was a little skeptical at the beginning of going into school. It was hard, actually. I didn't think it would change. I didn't think it would ever change. Every day got easier and easier and easier. I'm the thing that I really want. I'm close to achieving. For help, look in the new yellow pages under Learn. Got my self-esteem right back up where it should be. Carlos Palomino, this is the Colise de Ruben Rodriguez, as the former champion of the world, Larry Holmes, one of my favorite fighters of all. You got right. the left uppercut, or you got the right uppercut? Well, probably the right uppercut. Oh, that's that's He's coming like oh, crazy. Okay, he's the uppercut. Oh, no, he's trying to put the hand out. Yesterday, when we oh, talked to him, he gave the effective punch to be the right uppercut. So far, Frankie hasn't been real effective with it. But his right hand is definitely his hand. He's almost a one-dimensional fighter with that blow. Right hand move comes from different angles. Well, this is Frankie's style of fight. This is perfect for him. He can stay out here all night and just do this, keep this kid off him, let the kid have a couple of flurries each round, and try to just win what the real new fight frank of the audience is a boring fight. Right. Absolutely. And that's like you said, it's been a knock. And, and the reason he's, he's just kept, he kept out of those big money fights uh, against the uh, more exciting crowd uh, champions. Frankie, it's effective, it's not pretty, but boy, he's had a great career. But again, this is a, a, a sport about money and about the business end of it. But he's not going to change at this stage in his career, so we better just describe it. Well, I don't think he can change it at all. This is what he's comfortable with. Uh, he's good at it, he's won a lot of fights with his style. And it works for him. He got a, he got a left hand through that time, but no effectiveness, uh, no power behind it at all. And it can't be power behind it, quite frankly, because, again, I don't want to bore you with repeating the same thing, but his legs are too far apart. It, it can't be power behind that shot. If he cut it loose from his legs like this right now, and, and turn on it, and turn the, sh the shoulder, turn the hip, he gets some power. But when you have your legs way separate, you can't get power behind it.
Yeah. You see there, he's got a hand loose, he's got to be pumping. Yep. Yeah. He's got to be scoring when he's inside, and he's not doing that. And the most important thing I think you said there is the fact that the bell ends the sixth round, the skull drop just, and nothing fancy about what he does. He just comes straight at you. And no angle from either side, just straight ahead. And there's Mahinge Zulu from Kinshasa, Zaire, right fought most of his career in Italy. Fighting for a world title for the first time, and he's really picked a good one to fight against for your first world title shot. Mahinge Zulu, really a nice kid, I'll tell you. Enjoyed the time we spent with him this week. Carlos and I had lunch with him yesterday, and I had a great chat. We ate, and he did it. Showing you some of the sights of Puerto Rico tonight, and the tourist board uh, has done a great job in showing us around. And I mentioned that a little bit earlier that it's been a while since we were down here doing a fight. Boy, they've done a great job in tourism down here. It's really, you realize a lot of that money is involved with tourism. The cruise ships are coming in here big, and, and they've really done a great job with the, the exact service personnel and the hotels that treat you like kings. It's really a nice place to visit. If you haven't been down to Puerto Rico the past four or five years, you've got to treat yourself to a trip down here. Here we go, round number seven, scheduled for 12. Frankie Lyles and Andre Skelikov. 168-pound WBA mandatory defense the super middleweight championship of the world. Fresher tasting longer. It cooks in just half the time and has a tender, no mess rim. So whenever you're ready for pizza, McCain Pizza Premier is ready for you. In fresh tasting deli lovers, pepperoni, and deluxe. McCain Pizza Premier. We've got a lock on fresh taste. 
A baking soda toothpaste that tastes great? Try new Arm & Hammer Smooth Spearmint. Wow. With a refreshing spearmint ribbon of flavor and smoother feel, new Smooth Spearmint from Arm & Hammer gives you more wow. every time you brush. All aboard! Your chance to rediscover Canada with the Aurel at your neighborhood, home hardware, and home building center. This year, it's bigger and better. 20 couples will win the all-inclusive cross-Canada luxury trip of a lifetime. And you'll take a private train from Prince Rupert all the way to Halifax. Come to home hardware for your chance to rediscover Canada with Via Rail. So hurry, your private train is waiting. To get your free Rediscover Canada car, call now. You can be young without money, but you can't be old without money. Now, if I had to do it all over again, I would do everything the same way. Well, except for uh, my band. I think I'd have them in there a little earlier. I listened to my financial advisor, and he put me into mutual funds almost 18 years ago. And I've been putting them all aside ever since. Retirement once seemed a lifetime away, but here I am. And I'm glad I listened. Mackenzie, building financial independence for over 30 years. Ultimate GMC truck sale is on now with 1.9% purchase or lease financing on all 1500 series. Sierra regular cab and extended cab. Get great deals on GMC Safari and Pontiac Trans Sport and even 1.9% on the GMC Jimmy. Hurry in for the ultimate GMC truck sale of the year only at Pontiac Buick GMC dealers. Give me a break, make your tea, make it cold. Give me a cane. Ice tea break! Take a refreshing break from summertime heat with frozen concentration.
concentrated iced tea from McCain. McCain iced tea, caffeine-free, no powdery taste. A refreshing, thirst-quenching beverage made with the essence of unique tea blends. Give me a break, make your tea, make it cold. McCain iced tea, no caffeine, no powdery taste. Great tasting refreshment, down to a tea. Al comes into the office when he has a vertebral subluxation, and I take my car to him when the brakes are squeaking. Al comes to my gym to get in shape, and I, and I go to his place to get my car in shape. Al takes care of my car, and I give Al the number six. The fifth. Hi, I'm Al. Al's car care package costs $34.95. It includes oil and filter, rotate tires, top all the fluids, a free brake inspection, free windshield washer fluid, top up for the whole year. Professional results at home with Simonized Gel Car Wash. Clean and enhance the shine of paint, leaving the protection of Teflon. Clean and protect your entire vehicle with Simonized Gel Protective, bursting with nutrient-enriched beads. Each application revitalizes, nourishes, and adds the lasting protection of Teflon. The Simonized family of car care products are available at Canadian Tire. Hey guys, over here. Yeah. Um, at what point in the day are you absolutely starving? After
after school. Ooh, then uh, how do you handle this hunger? The cane. <laughs> Your pepperoni pizza pockets. Hmm. Why the cane? Because they give us more pepperoni. Oh, I see. And more pepperoni is important to you? <laughs> Duh. Pick up McCain pepperoni pizza pockets and get more pepperoni. Cool. Podgorski, Esquire. Bonjour la vida, Esquire. Meet the Esquire collection. Bonjour la caracas, Esquire. David Tang, Esquire. A line of fashionable Swiss watches designed for Canadians who do what they love and love what they do. Carter Hoffmeyer, Esquire. Rudy Hoffman, Esquire. Kinky Carpenter, Esquire. The Esquire Rally Chronograph, water resistant to 100 meters. Esquire Watch, it has your name on it. Great Hannaford, Esquire. Trying to make a go out of it. Frankie now is getting a little bit. 
he's, he's buying everything. I like that. And he should. At least, at least uh, he's not going to get out with uh, whimpering. You remember Jay. He still doesn't say very much. Especially when he's enjoying his McCain super fries. And he doesn't seem to care that they've only got 5% fat because they still taste great. McCain super fries. Deep fried flavor and crispness with only 5% fat. For the strong, silent type. Hey, how you doing? I'm that new sponge who's trying to look like a scotch bright scrub sponge. <laughs> No, see, I really am. Just like a Scotch Bright. Everyone wants to be a Scotch Bright scrub sponge, but only Scotch Bright has this innovative system of scrubbing fibers that helps Scotch Bright scour the toughest baked on mess over 50% faster than any impersonator. So I cut a few corners, but I'm just like a. No, th thank you. Everyone wants to clean like Scotch Bright. Get the scour power of Scotch Bright. Another 3M innovation. Al comes into the office when he has a vertebral subluxation, and I take my car to him when the brakes are squeaking. Al comes to my gym to get in shape, and I, and I go to his place to get my car in shape. Al takes care of my car, and I give Al the number six. The principal. Hi, I'm Al. Al's car care package costs $34.95. It includes oil and filter, rotate tires, top all the fluids, free brake inspection, free windshield washer fluid, top up for the whole year. 37 years ago, I had a dream, and with the help of AGF Mutual Funds, I'm living it. That dream was to be an actor in retirement commercials. My friends over there, actors. My caddy, he's actually a Broadway dancer. You see, AGF Funds helped me get to the life I'm living right now, and that's... Yes! Just part of the course. We your dream, AGF. What are you doing afterwards? If Scott Talk could do something dramatic and knock this guy down, you know, Frankie, uh, well, let's see if he does it first. <laughs> Talk about the possibility of options. All right, here we go. This is the 11th round, scheduled for 12. WBA mandatory title defense for Frankie Lyles. Andre Skelikov from the former Soviet Union.
this inside him now. Got him sort of in the neck. Yeah. And I think he put his weight on him and drove him down. Let's see if this fits any part of the team.
tele shopping. But Frankie, that's exactly the way he fights it in. Quite frankly, you got to say, hey, if in his mind his job is to come in and win a fight, don't look pretty, and don't try to be a crowd pleaser, he was very successful in all three years. Absolutely, and I think that I, most, most of Frankie's fans, I know that. We're going to have the decision as soon as Jimmy Lennon is set. Uh, we'll get the decision for you, make it official. And then I understand that Jim Gray from the United States Network Showtime is going to interview Frankie Lau, so we'll... Uh, Eavesdrop on that and get that interview. Here we go. Here we go. Tras de 12 rounds, tenemos una decisión unánime. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds, we do have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. El juez Rivera tiene la pelea 115 a 114, 115 to 114. El juez Ramos vio la pelea 115 a 112, 115 to 112. And Judge Oveson on nota 118 a 110, 118 to 110, a favor del ganador, in favor of the winner, and still champion, fabulous, Ricky It was a slip. It was a slip. It definitely wasn't it. The shot hit me with a good shot, but I went down. It was a thing of balance. First of all, I got to thank my team because we worked really hard. We worked for four months, five months, and we kept changing opponents, so I didn't know who was going to lay off for you. Were you rusty? A, a little bit, but we did our job. It was a little tougher to, to get the weight down this time. But I want to dedicate my fights to Judy Terry, my friend Nick, who lost his life in Los Angeles, and also my cousin Cece. Frankie, the awkward style of Andre. Did it bother you? He was throwing a lot of elbows. He was unconventional. You tackled him a couple of times. Well, How much did that bother you and keep you off track? It really did, but I'm a world champion. I take on everybody. I've never sidestep or dodged anyone. You know, I took what he came, you know, what he brought to give me. So it was just tough for me to get into my fight. I didn't start really relaxing until maybe about the fourth or fifth round. But I got to take my head off to him. He fought a great fight. What, what, what next? Will it be Roy Jones, Stevie Collins? What next for you? Well, I can't answer that question right now. Now my promoter is Don King, and I love him dearly, and I'm one of the guys that stand beside him. So it's whatever Don says from here, and, I, and, and we'll, I'll talk it over with my team, Luis Spada, Kenny Adams, my cousin Fred, Otis, Keith, <laughs> and also uh, Ruben Gomez. All right, Frankie, I'm sure Don appreciates those words. Congratulations Thanks tonight. Thanks a lot. All right. Some of that, but basically, as far as I'm concerned, it was a typical Frankie Lyles fight. Absolutely, you know, and he also said he spent five months in the gym. Uh, it's quite a bit of long time. He said, you know, our opponents got changed a couple of times, so uh, it might have been a letdown, but, but, but that's a typical Lyle uh, boxing match. You know, he comes and he boxes and he uses everything he knows and he took his trick and knows, and uh, at times, uh, fights are boring. tasting frozen pizza ever made. McCain Pizza Premiere in the unique vacuum-packed flavor lock package that seals air out so it stays fresher tasting longer. It cooks in just half the time and has a tender no-mess rim. So whenever you're ready for pizza, McCain Pizza Premiere is ready for you in fresh tasting deli lovers, pepperoni, and deluxe. McCain Pizza Premiere. We've got a lock on fresh taste.
I'm Michael Lansing, inviting you to join us Monday on Off the Record for the heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox Lewis, will join us. Did he turn his back on this country, or did this country turn its back on him? Lennox Lewis, Monday on Off the Record, 6 Eastern, that's 3 Pacific. Bob Sheridan back here with Carlos Palomino. We're live at the Coliseo de Ruben Rodriguez in Bayamon, Puerto Rico. There's the Puerto Rican flag, and of course, uh, you're going to hear a whole different crowd when Felix Tito Trinidad comes out here. They love him here. And it's interesting, you know, Carlos, they say a Hingo Yuzuo is the best available opponent for this guy. What's that mean? Well, I think it means that there's a lot of guys out there who don't want to fight the Tito Trinidad, you know, and I don't blame them. I think technically, He's, uh, he's the best fighter uh, in the local division right now. The Lone Bluff, this is a great uh, crowd. They're uh, ready for their hot guy in there. They're chilling. Well, while they hoop and holler around here about Trinidad, we have a little feature with Felix Trinidad. You watch this, and we'll be right back with more live action. Felix Trinidad. Las cosas han cambiado, pero casi todo, casi todo igual. Estamos entrando fuerte para tener una, una gran condición física ese día, física y mentalmente, para ese combate. Yo sé que va a haber ese día, va a haber muchas banderas, muchos puertorriqueños gritando tito, 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 yo sé que lo van a ver y eso va a dar un, un extra para, para poder pelear con mucho más ánimo y, y poder terminar la pelea inclusive hasta más rápido. Outside the arena, the serenity of San Juan, Puerto Rico. And in about two seconds, you're going to see this place explode when they come inside because it's anything but serene inside. Carlos, it has the feeling of world title fight tonight, now, doesn't it? Absolutely. These are special kind of events when you're fighting a, in a guy's home or town, country, where he's idolized. And uh, this is one of them. Puerto Rico idolizes uh, people turning that and. Uh, he deserves uh, all this. Well, this is the crowd, folks. When he makes his way in here, Felix Trinidad, 32 and 0. They're already yelling Tito. And Coupe Alto in Puerto Rico. Last time out, he demolished Troy Waters inside of one round. That was August a year ago. Trinidad won the title over Maurice 